Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'll be discussing tuber suppressors and oncogenes that you need to know for step. Um, and with that, let's just get right into the video. So there's a lot of oncogenes. Uh, so I came up with the song to help you memorize not only the oncogenes, but also the functions associated with each one, as well as uh, some of the pathologies that arise from the trickier ones. So uh, I made the song that goes to the tune of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Um, and it goes like this. I'll correct men to her to new, BCR able and Jack too. C Mick and Mick Mick L1. C K K Ras Pancreas Lung. Braf S T K B C L2. Now I know my oncogenes too. And uh, it might be pretty hard to remember it the first time that you sing it, but what I did was basically sing the song uh, once every time before I go to bed. Uh, and then um, by a week later, I had it memorized in my long term memory. So let me explain some of the things that you can get from this song. So the first line of genes, al caret and her 2 can be used to memorize all of the receptor tyrosine kinases. Um, and this is important to distinguish from the regular tyrosine kinases, non-receptors, that uh, are in the second line, BCR able and JAK2. Uh, third, you got CMIC, NMIC, MIC L1. These are all transcription factors. And then CKIT, you just have to memorize, is a cytokine receptor. Um, kind of easy to remember because CK are both in cytokine, CKIT, cytokine. And then KRAS is obviously a RAS GTPase. Um, and then after that is BRAF, STK. So BRAF is a serine theorine kinase, STK. And BCL2 is, as you probably already know, an anti-apoptotic molecule that inhibits apoptosis uh, uh, on the mitochondria by preventing the activity of BACs and BAC. So um, that basically covers all of the functions of each of these oncogenes. So just remember, first line, second line, third line are receptor tyrosine kinases, tyrosine kinases, and uh, transcriptional factors, respectively. And then the last four oncogenes, uh, I already told you how you can memorize those. So that covers all of the functions, that covers all of the oncogenes. And then lastly, let's cover the pathologies that arise from each one. So ALK uh, causes lung adenocarcinoma, and that can be memorized by the first two letters in ALK, AL, adenocarcinoma of the lung. Uh, K you can just memorize as kinase, because remember, it's a receptor tyrosine kinase, since it's in the first line. Second, RET uh, gives rise to uh, MEN2, and that's in the song, so pretty easy to remember. Also gives rise to papillary thyroid carcinoma, you can just brute force memorize that uh, by repetition. her 2 new gives rise to breast and gastric carcinomas. Uh, you probably already know this just from um, seeing it so many times in uh, question stems or in class. Uh, and then beyond that, there's also BCR able gives rise to chronic myelogenous leukemia, as well as, uh, in a rare form, gives rise to acute lymphoid leukemia. In addition, you have JAK2, uh, the other tyrosine kinase, um, and JAK2 gives rise to chronic myeloproliferative disorders. This is an umbrella term that covers CML, so it's kind of related to BCR able, and uh, the way that I memorize it is just going back to BCR able, uh, thinking of CML, and then remembering the umbrella term for that, uh, chronic myeloproliferative disorders. In addition, uh, you have CMIC, which gives rise to Burkitt lymphoma. I just brute force memorized that one as well. And MIC, you can memorize, uh, gives rise to neuroblastoma because of the N. So N MIC neuroblastoma. Similarly, MIC L1 gives rise to lung tumors, L to lung tumors. Next, you have CKIT, gives rise to gastrointestinal stromal tumors, or GIST, G I S D. Uh, I just brute force memorized that one as well. Um, KRAS gives rise to pancreas cancer, lung cancer, and colon cancer. I only included pancreas and lung here because um, KRAS, you probably already know, gives rise to colon cancer. So just to remind you, the harder ones to remember are pancreas and lung cancer. BRAF, as you probably already know, gives rise to melanoma. Um, and then in addition, non-Hodgkin lymphoma and papillary thyroid carcinoma. And let's just do some circular review here. What else gives rise to papillary thyroid carcinoma? Also RET, which gives rise to men too. So RET as well as BRAF cause papillary thyroid carcinoma. And then lastly, uh, you have BCL2, and that causes follicular lymphoma or um, B-cell dyscrasias, because BCL2 is an important anti-apoptotic mechanism preventing uh, B-cell overproliferation. So if you have that mutated into an oncogene, then that becomes a uh, cause for B-cell dyscrasias. Okay, so that covers all of the oncogenes, all of the gene products that are associated with each one, as well as all of the associated neoplasms that occur. Um, next, I have another mnemonic used to memorize the tumor suppressor genes. And this is a little shorter, um, and it goes by the tune of the Itsy Bitsy Spider, and this is how it goes. C, D, K, and R, B, T, P, 53, B, R, C, A, Wilms, 1, N, F, T, S, C, A, B, C, and P, 10, B, H, L, and first, man, D, P, C, from SMAD, 4, and lastly, E, C, C. And again, this goes by the tune of the Itsy Bitsy Spider. Um, and then all of the gene products um, that give rise, uh, that arise from each of these tumor suppressors, um, and the associated conditions um, are important to know, but I don't feel like going through every single one of them. Uh, just know that this song also does organize, uh, as best as I could, uh, all of the gene products. And then associated conditions, um, you can pretty much tell from uh, the name of each one, uh, or at least the name of most of them, such as uh, NF gives rise to uh, neurofibromatosis, obviously. Uh, TSC causes tuberous sclerosis. Um, VHL, von Hippel, Lindau disease. MEN causes uh, multiple, multiple endocrine neoplasia. Uh, yeah, so I feel like there's not much to explain here. Um, 
and no one's probably going to be uh, watching this far into the video anyways. So uh, <laughs> uh, that's it for uh, this new video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to help me hit 10 million subscribers. If I do hit that number, I'll quit medical school. Um, and with that, thank you for watching. Hopefully this helped.